Oh, 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 Remy. First morels. As you can see, they are tiny. We're not gonna pick these. What's going on guys, Frey here, out in the woods doing one of my absolute favorite things to do besides fishing. That's hunting for morel mushrooms. I've been doing it since I was a kid with my family. And I've been trying to figure out how to do it up here in Michigan since I've been going to school up here. It's been a learning curve. It seems like Michigan morel mushrooms is really focused on the black variety, whereas in Ohio, we usually found more of the grays and the whites. We call them yellows in Ohio. Um, and the blacks are really different. They're a lot more cryptic, smaller, just harder to find, and they're associated with different trees. So I'm gonna to try to give you guys some tips that I've learned uh, since I've been scouting out some different areas in Michigan trying to find these black morels. It's been a challenge, but I've really found that the most consistent way to find them for me is associating one specific tree with them. And uh, I've got a bunch behind me here, the Big Tooth Aspen. So that's kind of what I'm gonna tell you guys about. Uh, try to give you guys some helpful info because for me, finding stands of Big Tooth Aspen has meant finding the black morels uh, helped take a lot of the guesswork out of it for me. Still gotta put in lots and lots of miles, but uh, I've been able to find several different spots in several different areas of the state with Big Tooth Aspen. I found the black morels, so um, they're up late this year. It's actually about three weeks later than we found them last year, but it's finally warm and we found a few to show you in today's video. But first, talk about the aspen a little more. I'm definitely not a tree expert, but um, being able to identify these is not too hard. We've got a stand of them here. And it seems like what you want is the forest to be entirely big tooth aspen or a mix of different aspens. Um, these aspen trees, uh, Michigan folks seem to call them popples or poplars because they're in the poplar family. Um, so yeah, these are actually aspen trees, uh, but they are a poplar. And you can kind of tell because they start out having grooved bark and then as you work your way up the tree, uh, the bark gets smooth. And that's how I'm able to identify these trees. Uh, they don't really look like any other tree other than maybe a birch, especially the quaking aspen, which I'll talk about. But you wanna find the big tooth aspen. And the way you can tell the difference is the leaves that are all over the ground. Um, bugs are finally out. It's been peaceful for way too long. Anyways, hopefully this focuses. If not, I'll do a little zoomed in shot. Uh, these big tooth aspen teeth, uh, aptly named, it's just, got these ridges all along the side whereas if you're finding quaking aspen you're gonna have these leaves same shape but they'll be very smooth and I've read that quaking aspen is not nearly as good for morels so that's why I'm telling you guys this uh, I honestly haven't found any like stands that are exclusively quaking aspen uh, seems like all I find is a big tooth and sometimes the morels come with them so I'll try to give you guys some close-ups of the bark like I said uh, starts out with ridges and then as you work way up the tree it gets smooth in the younger, small trees, they're like smooth farther down. But really being able to find a stand of these uh, where you've got miles and miles of aspen to walk through, that's been the ticket for me. And you can find the leaves on the ground and they're pretty easy identified by the bark. All right guys, so finding the right tree is super important, but also you wanna have the timing right. You don't wanna be there too early. So one of the ways that I can tell that the morels are up, uh, that's worked well for me, is finding these plants here. I used to call these umbrella plants when I was a kid, but I guess they're called mayapples, and they're pretty common in the same forest that you find morels. They look just like an umbrella. And when they're fully up and uh, at this kind of larger size, like they're much bigger than my hand, um, that tells you that the morels should be up and possibly up for a few days. Um, so tracking the progress of these mayapples will help. Um, but yeah, as you can see, these things are pretty big. They're fully up. Uh, that's a good sign. That means we should be walking around and we should be looking very, very carefully to try to find some morels. All right, guys, so one other quick thing to add before I show you guys some mushrooms is black morels are much harder to find than the other kinds of morels, in my opinion. Uh, like I said, they're very small. They're cryptic. They blend in really well uh, with the leaves, and they don't stick up as much uh, above the leaves as, like, a big old white or yellow morel will. Uh, they have a smaller size it seems like so you really have to slow down to find these things in my opinion. If you're walking constantly you're probably walking past tons of them and I'm sure I walk past hundreds, thousands in the time that I've spent scouting. Um, so when I'm in a really likely area I have to stop and I have to kneel uh, and that's usually how I find them all. Uh, so it's tough you got to stay focused and you got to get down close to the ground and find them. Definitely got to work for these Michigan morels. Doesn't seem like they come easy. Uh, so that's probably all the tips I got for you guys. I really hope it helps some of you guys get into it. Maybe find some new spots. Um, 
They're delicious, totally worth the grind out here. So I've got some footage to show you, some actual mushrooms, and hopefully maybe I'll find some here in this spot too, we'll see. Guys, so I'm out here, been walking miles and miles. I'm here in a spot that I found about 20 or 30 in last year, weeks before this, and I found two nice fresh ones. These are the first two I've found today after hiking. Definitely two or three miles, sweating like crazy out here. It's like 75 degrees, not a deal. And I really would have thought these things would be up, but this is it. Uh, one there and one over there. And with these being fresh, I'm worried I probably missed a lot of morels today. Uh, probably just a little bit too small to be easily visible. These are just above the leaf level. <laughs> Didn't bring my knife, so got to pick them by hand. Let's put that in the sun for you guys to see. Nice fresh black morel. These are great feeding size morels. Super delicious, but we need more than just two out here, and I don't think we're gonna find them. It's been an absolute grind out here. This one's a little bit drier. Take that. Just found a smaller one here. Kind of a trickier find, but we will take those. It's going right through this piece of wood here. Here's a fresher one for us. Headed to the bag, that's four. All right guys, we just found number five. Slow grind out here. We're not finding any groups of them. Just ones, all by himself. That's a nice fresh one though. Actually, I say that, but somebody took some, some bites out of him right there. Nice one. That is as fresh as they get, perfect eater, but also alone. I mean, I'm used to finding groups of these things, but I'm not seeing any around, one every quarter mile or so, it's been slow. Here's a tricky one. Under a leaf, you push that leaf right up. It's actually a better size one right there. That's what we're looking for. 